Welcome to the Community Shall Be Restored television show. I'm your host, Prophet Cedric Banks, along with... Prophet is done today. We have a dynamite show for you today that's going to bless your life. Uh, we got some uh, uh, great, great uh, things going on in the community. What one of our special guests is going to tell you about it and everything. But before we do that, we got Bishop-elect Stephan is going to open us up with a dynamite prayer that's going to bless your life and everything. I'm truly thanking the Lord for yet another opportunity for us to get together, amen, and praise and glorify his name. Amen, for how many of you know that this is a day that the Lord has made that we are to rejoice? Should we rejoice that we should be glad in it. Amen? Amen. Come on, let's go to God in prayer. Father God, we thank you today. Yes. We thank you today, Father God, because you are the great Al Shaddai. You are the great God Almighty. You are the Father God. You are the one that has watched us all yes, Lord. night long. Thank you, Lord. And Father God, we thank you today. We thank you, Father God, for you got us through a night of the seen and the unseen, Father God. And Father God, you got us to another day. Father God, we thank you for being the one in our lives that has been the guider and, and the mentor and has helped us get into positions and places in our lives. And Father God, we, we, we come to you today, Lord. Come to you today, Lord, asking you, Asking you, Father God, to touch the hearts of that man, touch the hearts of that woman, Father God. Touch the heart of that little boy and of that little girl, Father God. Let them know that you are God and that you are God all by yourself, Father God. Father God, we thank you today. Father God, we ask that you move today, that you move in this land, Father God, that you enable the people to understand, Father God, what your word said, when your word said that in my people that are called by my name would pray and humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways, Father God, your word said then you will hear the cries in heaven and heal our land. We're crying to you today, Lord. We're crying out to you today, Lord. We're asking you, Father God, to heal our land. We're asking you to heal our jobs. We're asking you to heal the marriage. We're asking you to heal us right now. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for the prophet, Father God. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for the woman of God, Father God. Thank you for my family, Father God. Thank you for everyone that's here. Yes, Thank you for those of you in the listening land. Yes, Thank you for those who yes, seen and unseen. Yes, Thank Lord. you, Father God. Thank you for Thank you, In the name of Jesus, you, let everyone say amen. 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 Community shall be restored. We have a tremendous guest right now that's going to bless your life. Just making movies all over the city of Detroit, seen all in theaters, and Charles H. Wright museums, everything. Anthony Brogdon, Great welcome to you. the community. Uh, show. some tremendous things going on out there in the community. What all do you have going on? Tell us what you got going on. You got this great movie. Who are some of the people 
that is going to be in this dynamic movie, which you got going, uh, okay. Anthony. Well, well, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to talk about something that uh, took three years of my life to do. Okay. I started in uh, 2011. I've never made a movie before, but it, uh, it, as we all have a calling, I had a calling because I have a voice to say good things about people and things that I know of and about my hometown. I'm a native Detroiter. Okay. So, and well, you know, you just, said, yep. you just said something real that's really true. We all have a calling. Everybody has a calling mm -hmm. that you see. Yeah. They could be the worst person in the world. They still got a calling. Amen. But they got to answer that calling, though. Yep. They got to make a decision Amen. that they can answer that. Amen. Everybody got some type of calling. And you know, like in most instances, I've been procrastinated for years yeah. to, to, to make mine happen. But uh, I went to a, a, a theater festival in North Carolina once to see a buddy of mine who's an actor. He was, being, he was acting in this play. And uh, I saw the play and said, oh, that's very nice, but I got a play I want to write. So I came back home uh, here to Detroit and I wrote this play called Foot Soldiers. And Foot Soldiers is going to be my first drama, my first feature length film. And, but without any background, I decided a good place to start would be a documentary. Okay. And then I thought, well, what would be the subject matter of my documentary? And what would be a better subject matter than something I know about, you know, born and raised here, spent all my life other than uh, when I went to college and then I moved to Atlanta for a few years, is a, is a documentary about Detroit. Right. Then the other part is, I'm a Detroit, so I'm not going to say nothing bad about my town. Right. So I named my film The Great Detroit. Because I want to say good things about, about our city. We know, we, we all know that there's a lot of good that's happening here. There's right. a lot of good happening at this church, right. other churches, a lot of good happening in our community and at our organizations. So I tried to do all I can. And I apologize to you earlier that I didn't interview you for the film. Uh, I, 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 and my opening line is I couldn't get everybody. Right, right. But uh, okay, will I get an opportunity though? Oh, we're gonna oh, try yeah. to make that happen. But uh, I, I started out with how and why Detroit was founded. Right. See, because Detroit is an ideal location with that Detroit River coming down the middle. Right. When back in the day, and I'm talking about early 1700s, when the British was expanding their empire, they were already in, uh, not the yeah. British, the, the French, they were already in Canada. See, Canada was before Detroit. So then they started coming this way, and they saw Detroit as a good spot, they saw that river, and they said, okay, let's build a fort in Detroit, right. which became Fort Pontchartrain. You might have heard that term right. after the right. Indians. Plus, it was a lot of land here. It was a lot of beaver and, and, and different animals they could use for the fur. Right. And they could make hats and that kind of thing. So this guy, uh, Cadillac, you know, after the car Cadillac. Right, Cadillac. Cadillac. He's a Frenchman. He came here with a bunch of people on a boat. They sailed and they landed right there at Hartford. Right. Wow. That's where it started. Right there There's a big statue right there in, in his honor for Cadillac, right there in our plaza. It's in the film. Right. And so he landed there, and they began to grow from there. And then they began to say that Detroit is a great city to do it. So uh, they named it Detroit. You've heard that term. Right, right. And you look downtown, you see all them French names, like mm -hmm. like Ant, Ant, uh, uh, Antoinette, not, uh, Ant Saint Antoine, Saint, 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 Saint Antoine, Saint Antoine, right. And, and, and other streets along in that area. That Those are French names. Right, wow. and that was because the French came here, and then they knew the British was gonna kind of come and take over. Right, and so they built this fort to, to overcome the British. They did eventually come, but from that, uh, a lot of people began to come to Detroit, and Detroit's been a great city since day one. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 You know, we know about Motown. Motown was started here, so I talked to you about Motown. There's another sound thing uh, that's real big over in Europe. You might have heard they got a big festival called Techno. Yes. Yeah, a lot of kids play that techno music and right. whatever. That's around the world. That's huge. It was started here in Detroit. And then, you know, they, they got this automobile industry that Detroit was the number one country for manufacturing in the world. Well, we got the plant that was Henry Ford's first plant in that film. 
So it's those yeah. kind of things that I try to yeah. You're putting out, where can your movies be seen at? Because we got a lot of people out there in TV land that look at the TV show. We got millions of people yep. out there that look at the TV show. Um, and where can your movies, where can your movies be seen at? Right, in case right. people out there, we got people right here in the TV audience, as you see. Right. Where can your movies be seen at? Okay, well, let me tell you. So it was released in 2014, so it's been out a couple years now. Okay. And, but because I'm a little known filmmaker, uh, I didn't know exactly how to do the marketing so well and didn't have big budget and what have you. So the first thing, it was at a theater called the uh, Furniture Factory. We had about, uh, it was a sellout, 100 people. And then from there, we went to the DIA. Okay. We sold out the DIA. Wow. We've been in wow. Farmington and in Royal Oak. Uh, we've been at about, about 30 libraries around the country, around the city. It's right. from Detroit, Dearborn, Southfield, Hamtramck, Commerce Township, mm -hmm. Warren, Livonia. Wow. The next thing is, what I uh, to answer your question, I'm going to get to that. The next thing is, I got a show in Windsor coming up in a, a couple months. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. I'd like to show it here at your chair. Oh! Let's do it. That answers oh. that question. We'll do that. Let's I'll get it done. We'll have a little talk afterwards. I okay. have no problem with that. Okay. Uh, it is available it. on Amazon. So if you're so inclined, you can just download it on Amazon. You can buy the DVD, he showed you the DVD, or you can just, on your computer and iPad, download it on Amazon. Uh, there'll be some other shows. It was at the uh, Charles Wright Museum. The so your, your, your movies are being shown at the Charles A. Wright Museum? It, it, it has been. It okay. has. You know how movies come and yeah. then they stay a couple of days and then right, they right, leave. Right. So that's, that's always, because it's been out two years. That's good exposure so that, 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 Oh man, that's, that's great exposure. exposure. Great exposure. Great exposure. Next move is I'm going to Europe with this movie. Wow. Yeah. I'm not I'm not putting it in film festivals, but I'm renting these theaters. Wow. So I'm going to Germany, uh, Holland, which is Amsterdam, and other cities there. I'm going to, to London and and uh, and Manchester in the, what they call the UK. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to Italy. And I'm going to Ireland wow. in, in, in the end of May. And wow. what I'm doing is I, I raised enough money where I'm renting these theaters in these different countries, in these cities. Wow. And I'll be there for about a month and a half. And I, I make my money back. Now, now, Bish, I mean, uh, uh, Anthony, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, we got some talent in here. Are you looking for any actors? Well, let me tell you, it's a good thing you asked that. Let me, let me, let me, before I tell you to answer that question, my next move is I got a movie coming out about the rise of black business in America. Because see, one thing that we as black people in life, we don't really understand how great we are sometimes. Right, wow. Amen. And that's what I try to put on my film. Wow. So we're going to talk about how black people own businesses in the 1800s. Wow, in during, 1800s. It, during, yeah. There was 300 businesses in Detroit. In, in, 1800s? in 1800s. Wow. Mm -hmm. I got the sun. Now, we got a lot of black businesses right on Livernoy. Oh, yeah. Livernoy. Yeah. Right on Livernoy. Yeah. There's a whole lot of black businesses. Back in the day, the Avenue of Fashion. Yeah. Oh, it was jumping. Mm -hmm. But, like, let me tell you, I got the sons of the founder of the first black hospital in Detroit, oh. which was started in 1917. Mercy mm. Hospital. Wow. Wow. Their mom and dad were doctors. And they were living in Alabama, and in the middle of the night, they had to flee. Because the people told them, we, you ain't going to make it in the morning. Wow. Yeah, so I got, we got a black cemetery that's still operating in Detroit today. A black cemetery? Black, you been there and didn't know it was black. Where is that located at? You might know the answer to that. Uh, no. It's, 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 it's Detroit Memorial Park on, on Ryan and 13 Mile. Oh, Ryan and 13. You've been there. Okay, yeah, I remember yeah. when I was a kid, used to have to yeah. drive past all these yeah. other with lawn and all these right, other right, cemeteries. Right. That's because that was a black home, and that was the only place that would allow blacks to be buried. Mm. Mm. That place was started in 1925. 1925. We got a black cab company that's operating today that was started in 1928. And you probably wrote them. You've seen the cabs. It's a black cab with the yellow and gold and black emblem. It's called City Cab. 
So I interview somebody if they can. You know, I tell you, I like, one thing I like about what you're doing, I like how you're promoting black business. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, because back in the 70s, that's all we would see was black business. Yeah. You know, blacks with party stores and beer and wine stores. Yeah. Yeah. And it's good to see a brother in position making films that has the ability to promote black business. Oh, yeah. We need that. I, I, we that's need my that. and be happy about it, mm -hmm. right. walking out the theater. I don't right. want people to do that. I couldn't even do that as a Detroit and say something bad about Detroit. Right. Who are some of the people that you have in your movies? And this one here, uh, this one it's, here? it's people like uh, Reverend Holly from, from Little Rock Baptist Church. Reverend Jim Holly? Yeah, Reverend Jim Holly. Yeah, he's, he's a prominent pastor here yeah, he's in, in the, the city of Detroit. Detroit. Yeah, he's in he's a field. famous pastor. Uh, pastor. Uh, it's, right. it's, it's Reverend, not Reverend, it's uh, Juanita Moore. Who runs the Charles Wright Museum? Yeah, she's in there. Because the administrator, know, she's the administrator. She's, yeah, she's the president. Yeah, president. If right. you didn't know, the Charles Wright is the largest black museum in the country. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Wow. Wow. Just to say, we got a segment on Black Bottom in that family. Yeah, oh, Black Bottom. You familiar with the Black yeah, Bottom? Yeah, that's so right. Oh yeah, a lady whose father owned a record store. In Black Bottom, she talks. Wow. She's a historian. She talks about it, but we also talk about things like the history of pro sports. So we got the Lions, the Tigers, and the Red Wings, and the Pistons, and all that in that film. Yeah, wow! And it's just, it, but it's not a black film because it's 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 about everything about Detroit. And what I, mean, I like, you hitting the historical areas. Yeah, his history. Yeah. I talk about what's going on. We got we talk about urban farming and stuff like that in there. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about. Uh, again, the museums, we talk about the schools, we talk about the Catholic Church, the Capuchin Church. Uh, we talk a little bit, it, it, it took me three years. So we Are talk a little bit about everything. If you're looking for any actors. Now to answer that question. Let me ask you something. Yep. If you're looking for any actors, because everybody, you got a many people out here in the world always trying to be a Denzel Washington <laughs> or, or Wesley Snipes, right. Wesley yeah. Snipes yeah. or Denzel Washington. Or was it uh, Danny Glover right. uh, for Lethal Weapon? You know that's one of my favorites. Yeah, I got favorites too. I love that. I love Danny Glover, uh, Mel Gibson, uh, 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 Lethal Weapon. You know what I'm saying? So I got some people. Uh, hey, I love too. Uh, so if they're looking, if you are looking for some actors, some people that believe they have stardom on the inside of them, Jada, Jada, what? Jada Pickett, yeah. Jada Pickett, sure. whatever. How can they reach you? Well, uh, what, what they can do is, uh, uh, I, I told you about the business in the black, and that'll be out in three months. I'm done filming, I'm in edit, I'm just getting ready for the release, a big premiere at the Charles Wright Museum, red carpet, spotlight, right. and then I go to LA and New York showing that film, things of that sort, and it'll be around town. And then I told you about that foot soldiers. You remember when I said right, that about right. that thing? Well, let me tell you, that's about the relationship between a mentor and his mentee. It's a young man living in a youth home, and his mom and dad split. His dad moves to another city, and now he's kind of lost. Right. We've seen that without so much. Mom and dad, and without without youth, the right. dad in particular. Right. And he's lost, so he starts acting up. They, she puts him in this youth home, and she meets this mentor. And this man comes into his life, and it turns his life around. The mentor and the mentee. Right. right. So I'm going to need actors for that, for that foot soldiers, which I hope to begin filming in wow. September. And it's a lot, it's, it's, it's not a play, it's going to be a full drama, so it's... it's wow, it's, full it's, drama? Oh, yeah, it's... Oh, it's, it's man. Oh, man. Tiff, I might get me a little role in this. Yeah. When I had it as a play, I had, I had about, uh, about eight, nine, ten people. Really? And then we staged it twice, and uh, it went real well. Uh, you just gotta, you know, keep them ticket sales going. Right. And uh, but with a movie, y'all have to do ticket sales. You just gotta sell the movie then. That's right. So I like that a lot better. Mm -hmm. But to uh, if you're on Facebook, you can follow me there real easy. The name, uh, the Great Detroit. There's a Facebook page there. There's a Facebook page called Business in the Black. There's a Facebook page called uh, Foot Soldiers. So you can follow me there, or you can follow me on my website 
which is A, the letter A, strongdetroit.net. A strongdetroit.net. You can follow me there. And then just look for me. I mean, if, you, if you're serious, because people tell me they want to do stuff. And then when it, but they don't call, they don't, you know. Right. And I'm not out calling people to tell them to do it. Uh, I got enough people that come after me, you know. Right, uh, right. Uh, I'm not being conceited or nothing. I just don't have time to be calling somebody, hey, you said you want to be in there, show up. And then they don't show up and waste the time. Right. So if you go to the website, you can, you can find me there. You do it on my Facebook. And then when I do my uh, 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 casting call for that, uh, which will be, probably be about August or September, and if you're serious and you found me, then, you know, come and we'll let the people who do the decision making uh, make it happen. Okay. Because uh, that film is going to be, uh, uh, it's going to be big. I but you go, uh, you at least go give them a tryout. Yeah, yeah, they can do that. Yeah, right. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, a lot of people say they want to do things and then, like anything, right. they don't follow through. When, they, when that time comes. People ask me now, I, wanna, I, wanna, I got an idea for a movie. I said, well, that's great to hear that. I'm not going to write your movie for you. I don't. Have, I got movies I want to do, so I tell people all the time. I say, if you got a movie, uh, at least put something on paper. Right. Hand me a piece of paper that you type that look good and everything, and say this is what I the think the movie is about. Then you have you ahead of the, the rest of the crowd by eighty percent just by putting it down. Right. Right. Putting something and on. Yeah. There. People tell. I'm sure they come to you all the time. Pastor, I want to do this. Or, Prophet, I want to do that. And then, they, and then you don't see them, they just don't Dis see no more. Disappear. You say, well, put it on paper. Show me a resume. You don't have a right. resume. Whatever it is. Right. So that's the first step. Because, uh, again, it's not to be conceited, but I'm kind of busy. You know, right, I'm right. Deep, trying to do my life and fill out right. my dream and answer my question. Right. And you ain't so that's where it's at. time to be chasing people. Yeah, I don't have time to chase right. them. Yeah. You the man making the movies, right. so they need to, folks need to be chasing you. Uh, almost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're be humble, I'm, I'm not there yet. I'm so happy. But you get there though. Yeah. Oh, that's the you, plan. you going through some big doors oh, though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, hey, yeah, I want to yeah. go with you. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I you know, it's big enough. Yeah. It's big enough for me to want to go through with you. Yeah. <laughs> and you look good enough to come with me. Come <laughs> That's all right. So I, I show all love. I, I appreciate this, uh, you know, because I met you the other day. Uh, we ran into it twice in about right. a two-week period. 14th Congressional. Yeah, 14th Congressional. I'm the fake base director yeah, there. Yeah, and you told me all that, and we sat and talked, and I told you about the movie, and then I get a call. I said, we want you on the show. Yeah. And that made my day. Really? Oh, man, no question. <laughs> I had it on my calendar. I Who just called, called the you? lady. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the maybe she called me. She, she called me and right. Ann sent me an email. Wow. They emailed me this morning. Told me to be. I said, shoot, I'm on time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she prompt. Brush my hair a little bit like the uh, other past. I said, brush my hair, brush my teeth. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Talking about that. Yeah, yeah, okay, what he said. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So I'm excited to come <laughs> before you. Because this is, uh, I didn't know this was going to happen when I started this venture. Yeah. You know, I just, I, I, I didn't do movies. Right. I, I did other things. I've always been self-employed. Mm -hmm. But, I, you know, I did other things. And this was just a dream to, right, to right, do right. this. Right, and right. Uh, well, so, well, you know. see, God just yeah. shifting you in your calling now. Yeah, exactly. You that's know, how you yeah. have a desire now. He putting you in positions where you have a desire. He's taking you to another level now, another yep. dimension. Yep. Yep. He's bringing you into a place. Well, you have a desire to be able to help people get their careers off the ground. I have no problem with careers off the ground. Yes. And I see, also see you writing a lot of Christian movies oh, I'm, 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 yeah. in, the, in the near future. I got one in mind. Uh, I'm sad to say it. I told you earlier that my mom passed a little more than a month ago. Oh, wow. And at her funeral, I spoke. You know, you got to, I, I, I spoke at other funerals. You know how you get to two minutes. And I spoke at her funeral. And I was so glad to do it. And uh, I told her I'm going to do a movie about her life. Mm. 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 Yeah, yeah. I am. Ooh. And I started writing it. And uh, I don't have no title. And uh, so next year, that's what I want to do. That's a part of it. But it was just, uh, I was moved to, to do that. And so that's all. <laughs> anybody, 
behind the movie industry? Because normally somebody has someone that inspired them in anything, whether it's basketball, football, baseball, preaching, you know. Is there anybody inspired you uh, as far as writing movies? I know Spike Lee write movies. Oh, yeah. That Spike. was the name I was going to give. <laughs> really? <laughs> right off the bat. Yeah, I, I never yeah. met him. But, uh, I mean, he just started out a, a normal guy, you know, in yeah. New York. And uh, went to school what's a guy named it, Tyler Perry? Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry, Perry right. Big, big uh, successful. And anybody who do a movie that is uh, uh, got some quality, that's inspiring because it, it's not an easy task. Right. You know. So uh, that was one of your uh, mentors? Oh, yeah. Spike yeah, Lee? Yeah. I'm, uh, actually, uh, in two weeks, I'm headed to L.A. Uh, I'm going out for the Image Awards. You familiar with that? Yeah. 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 I'm going out to the Just you do it. That's all. I mean, they ain't invite me. I bought my own airline ticket, <laughs> and it don't cost much to get in. You know, right, right. right. So but I'm see, going. In, I'm going out there, and hopefully, I'll meet somebody. It's a like good that. move because look at the exposure and the atmosphere you go be in. Oh yeah. And then oh, God yeah. got His hands on you, so you're out there, you're up and coming. So you might run into a gold mine. I'm gonna tell somebody. Yeah. That's the plan. I'm going out there right, to tell right, right. somebody. And see, the thing about this is, I'm not asking them for nothing. See, because in the movie game, you out there, people come at you all the time asking for something. I'm not asking for anything. I'm just saying this is what I'm doing. And if you like it, then maybe they'll call me and say I can be a part of it. I can help you. I can steer in the right direction. But if you don't, so what? I'm, the movie coming. With or without you. This happened without them. So the next one happened without them. I right, keep right, going. Right, right, now, how right, right. big they get, I don't know. Right, right. But right. I'm happy that I got it and that you thought enough of it and you all thought enough of it to have me come on your show. That makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, you know, I tell you though, uh, Anthony, we saw the potential. I'm going to get ready to close it out. Yeah. We saw the potential in you. We said that we want this brother on the show. We believe this brother is going places. And then today, you talked about all of the prominent doors that you're going through the Charles A. Wright Museum. You're going to Europe, uh, DIA, DIA. You're talking about all of these doors that you're going through right now. So these are remarkable doors that you're going through right now. They're remarkable. And, you know, so Know, just by you going places, people go link up with you. When, yeah. Cause people can see when you're going places. Yeah. You know, and people go link up with you, and they go connect with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm very excited. I'm sure by August we'll probably be having some people right in here. We got some people not even here today, part of the church that's not even here today. I don't know, Bishop, you make cause you seem like you're a multi-talented man yeah. that can do acting that a yeah. really fit a part in, in, in there. You know what I'm saying? Really fit a part in there that can just uh, launch your career to new heights. Yes. You know, Marvin Sapp, the famous gospel singer, he made it as a singer first mm -hmm. and that blew his church up, yes. okay? Never could have made it. Right. Uh, and some of the other great songs he made. Never could have made it and everything. But I've been your host today, Prophet Cedric Banks. And looking, we bring all the resources on this show. We bring the mayor on of the city of Detroit, those in city council, uh, the state representatives, uh, those 36 district court, Wayne County Third Circuit Court, you can go, what's the website where they can go see all, in case they missed the show, what's the website? They can go to www.cedricbanks4detroit, the number 4detroit.com. They also can go to his website, www.cedricbanks4detroit, uh, f-o-r-detroit.com. All right. And we'll see you next Saturday, Comcast Channel 90 at 8 p.m. right here on the Community Shall Be Restored television show.